Right. All right, gotcha, thanks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up. Again, we're on the ACE program. Um, and how that actually operates and how we can put it into play. And we just talked about the ask. Um, remember, this is where you have the courage to confront someone, uh, start a discussion with them, get that conversation going, and really it, ask them, are they thinking of harming themselves? When you go into the care part, this is really where you want to stay calm. Um, a lot of times people do not want to approach this because what happens if someone does say, yeah, I just want to go ahead and kill myself? It's kind of like a scary area. But again, my, my comment to you guys is if you stay calm, you know the person's in crisis. If you stay calm, they're going to stay calm. And they're going to be willing to open up to you and talk and say what's going on. Um, so when we get to this point, we want to go ahead and just make sure that we are really listening to them and that's that act of listening. So I may have went ahead and handled my financial issues and got through that. John is not handling it that, that well, all right? We've already said that. But he doesn't want me to go ahead and say, John, you could do this. Listen, here's what I did. I don't know, go here. That's not what he wants to hear. He really just wants to be listened to. So your goal is to go ahead and say really nothing, but just say, oh, I think I heard you say. All right? So you're really kind of just listening. And then the next is escort them. Again, first aid, the Band-Aid goes on when you start asking those questions. The escort is getting them to professional health. If they are in crisis, and especially if they have these warning signs. You've asked them, they've already told you that they're looking at harming themselves. You want to get them to the help they need. Always go with them. Do not leave someone who's suicidal alone because soon as you do, then you've lost them. So if you've started this conversation with them, and all of a sudden at the end, you say, okay, um, you know what? Why don't we talk later? Or I'll be right back, or one of those kind of things. Then the person has just said, okay, there's another person that I finally went ahead, opened up to and shared, and they left. So I'm obviously not that important. So remember, again, stay with the person, escort them to the help. Now here at uh, Toby Hanna, that would be our office, Employee Services Center. If we're not there, uh, you could always go to the clinic. Make sure you tell a supervisor, they can help. So there's all kinds of resources, all right? Emergency services that can help somebody. So if you go one place and you're not able to see anybody, don't stop there, all right? If you are outside of the depot and it's a family member, a friend, listen, emergency rooms, take them to the hospital. You can get online. Everybody has cell phones nowadays. It's really easy to Google on Bing or any of those search engines and say suicide prevention. And I can tell you the 1-800 number will come up. And if you can't do it or you don't feel comfortable, call that 1-800 number. They will talk to the individual. So there's all kinds of resources. For those not here at Toby Hanna, remember you have the same services at the other installations. You have Army Substance Abuse, you have Army Community Services that you can go to. Uh, so please make sure you use those resources. Any questions on that? And again, um, the 1-800 number is up here. I don't expect that you're going to write it down, but please remember if you ever need it, just search on your phone, search on your computers. It's there, all right? And again, our office. And that's it. So, so one of the things I would say, which is kind of a... I'm not bowing. This is kind of a personal experience that I share with the group, right? Not, I mean, going through the Army and working in different jobs, right? So I found myself at one point in time, minding my own business, I, you know, I was a 
the, the manager at the time, and I got a call and said, hey, you need, to, you need to come over here, right? And so what I found was in the dark corner of a building, one of my friends and one of my teammates had a razor blade to his neck. And at that moment, right, I thought, I don't think I'm prepared for this. And I don't think I know how to do this. And so, you know, fortunately it, it turned out where uh, we contacted the proper authorities, right? We got the person help, uh, it turned out okay, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, and we all have our own personal, our own personal uh, experiences. Um, but that's kind of where I, I constantly bring myself back to that place to say, what could I have done better? Could I have called that number? Where, how did I handle that? Did I handle it right? What would I do next time, right? So um, I, would, I would encourage you guys, if, if you haven't thought it through that way, because it hits you unexpectedly. And, and uh, if you're not prepared, and if you don't have that, um, if you haven't thought through that, then you can get, can get sidetracked and it could be. I got, I got fortunate because that situation worked out, but it wasn't because I handled it awesome. It was because just the situation worked out and they got help and it was good. I, I could handle that way better. So I would just offer that if you think about it that way. But just think, yeah. if you, I don't know if you knew about the ACE program back then. I didn't. No. But if you think about it, when you went ahead and saw that image and that individual, you could have went ahead and said, okay, I need to stay calm. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, you right. yeah. need to stay calm, get them talking, and, and then it starts to flow. So, again, the ACE does work. I mean, it really does work. And, and that's to, to your point. I didn't even know what to bring myself through as far as a, a, a mental roadmap of to get them talking, mm -hmm. get them comfortable, right? Yeah. And, and, my, my first reaction was, I froze. Right? It's, it's uh, a scary right. situation to be in. Yeah. So I just offer that as a personal experience to say, it really does matter to think about this beforehand. And so. All right, any other questions? All right, well, thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate being able to come over and talk about this you know, topic. It's very important. It affects so many people. Um, and hopefully, you never have to use the ACE program, but if you do, at least you can remember how that process works. So, again, have a great training. Thank you. Thanks, Eva. I apologize again for that interruption. Oh, that's okay.